This week we've got an asshole driver, Photoshop fail, and another deadly challenge. Why did they make this recorder shaped like a dick? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What does it remind you of? Oh, it's ergonomically designed for your mouth. Oh! A flute. <laughs> All right, well for our first story, uh, we have this guy in New York, in Times Square. He ended up peeling out in Times Square. There was this cop that tried stopping him, ran right in front of his car, and the dude pretty much almost ran over the police officer. And I have a video. Ooh, I wanna see this. I've been to Times Square. <laughs> Do it again? No. <laughs> It was like Zena the Warrior Princess. I thought it was a tall No, that's like a <laughs> Do it again though. <laughs> that is not a peel out. <laughs> right. That's the closest you're getting. That's the fucking telephone with the fucking coil attached to it. <laughs> How did you make that sound? Huh? The peel out sound. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking squeaky old door. <laughs> Alright, well fuck it, we both suck that, alright? Let's go. I opened up a door I should never open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright, here's the video. Wow, he's so cool. Look at that. Wow. He's got to buy new tires. Uh, wow, what a cool guy. Oh, they are they're all modded up cars. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, Ooh. oh no, no, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh my god, I would shoot at him. Can, is he allowed to shoot at him? Dude, that person could go to jail for like ever. That is fucked up. That's like a star with a deadly weapon. What what ethnicity is he? Is he Chinese? But they didn't have a license plate? So apparently initially they couldn't find out who were the drivers or like who was in the car. Mm. And so they Can were even see? asking the public to see if they could call in for any tips. They finally brought in two men as suspects for questioning, so we don't know if it is those guys or not because it hasn't been completely confirmed, but... Why do guys do dumb shit? Oh, that was not what I thought. I thought it was a Chinese kid. Why? Because black people can't have uh, Mercedeses? Because that Mercedes looked really gaudy as That's fuck, true. so I thought it was a Chinese person. Oh, yeah. That's true. Is it Korean or Chinese people? They love Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mercedes Benz. And they hooked it up like a rice rocket, too. How come yeah, the guy yeah. on the left is checking out a girl while he's getting his picture taken? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see the car again? The video? I think there's evidence I can find that other people can't find. Here we go. Stop it! Stop! Stop! I said you stop! Me to I don't know what you meant by stop it! There's a fucking license plate on that car, but man! it's so blurry! It's oh, you can't weird. make it out at all. Like, no matter how hard you try. Whoever recorded that video, you fucking suck for having a shitty phone. Well, you know, the guy that recorded this is actually pretty impressive because he's, he's a skateboarder, so this whole time he was skateboarding in the midst of all that, because this video is a lot longer, and so like you could see the cop chasing the car, and then this skateboarder. That's what just, happens like, when you don't through all the cars trying to get the get an iPhone X. Wow. Those Casey Neistat. I, you it? beat me. What? That was gonna say that. <laughs> Casey Neistat. Because he always yeah. has that, what is that, boost board? Yeah. He's going oh, through the streets of New York. He's a pro skater. His name is Kiefer Dixon. How old were the two? I'm not sure. They don't Kiefer mention Sutherland. Eight. If they were like 19, I think it's okay. <clears throat> it's it's okay. Oh, you know what? It's the first one, the one on the left, he's 20, and the other one is 20. He looks... It's okay. You know why? I would have done the same thing. Really? You're brave. Backstreet? Not Maybe not in New York, because it's stupid. But I would have done. I would have done. I would have done something stupid. I would have never done that in a packed street, though. It was always at an open parking lot. Or it was at night when there was nobody there. Because you're responsible. Oh. You're still dumb, but you're responsible. Thank you. <laughs> we did that in a parking lot when I was like 18 or 19. Exactly, a parking lot, though. Yeah. yeah, and then when the cop came, like all of us left, but then he targeted my friend. So my friend had to stop. He legit tried to kill a cop. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe he tried to run the cop over. That's fucking balls. That dude should be yeah. in jail forever. That's the part. Where I won't say it's okay, but the peel out part. That's like, not okay. It's not okay, but you're 19. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you're just gonna do irresponsible shit. Like that fool right there? But then the running over the cop and trying to get away, that's not, that's not cool. I guarantee man. you that fool has like some priors then. Because oh, yeah. there's no uh, reason maybe. for him to, you know what I mean? Because he would have just got a ticket for like reckless driving or some bullshit. Oh, that's true. Now you just yeah. increased your sentences. Yeah. And then there's video proof of it too. Yeah. I would have just been like, oh yeah, I fucked up. Give me the ticket. That fool's hella lucky that that cop was like just a regular ass cop and he looked kind of scared. Yeah. Because if it was like some SWAT motherfucker and he's like holding onto the thing, he would just pull the gun out and just blast him through the windshield. Because he tried to kill him. Yeah. 
and it would be perfectly true. legal. You didn't even. Because sometimes SWAT, uh, SWAT cops, they still have to do patrol every now and then just to cut like cover or whatever. And then he's right. He's he's got lucky that it was just like a regular ass dude that was just like, oh shit, I'm kind of scared at this moment. Yeah. I kind of want to see those situations like in the movies. Like if that happened, it was a SWAT cop. Guy tries to run, he jumps on the hood and just goes ba 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 ba, and then you see the car just slowly just coast into another car. Yeah, I know that'd be tight. <laughs> and he walks off. Like a movie. All right, so for our next story, which is my favorite one out of these three, there was this professional photographer that was hired for a family portrait session. Oh, I saw this okay. one. So the person that hired this photographer posted up these photos that the photographer turned in, and she said, in her post, she said, okay, this is not a joke. We paid a photographer who claimed to be a professional to $250 for a family photo shoot. Please see these for real photos she delivered to us. She said the shadows were really bad on the beautiful, clear, sunny day and that her professor never taught her how to retouch photos. Oh no! Feel free to share. And a whole bunch of laughing emojis. I gotta see this. I literally have not laughed this hard in years. You can't make this stuff up. Again, this is not a joke. Final product. <laughs> what? I want to hire this person though. <laughs> What, what the <laughs> fuck? No. Wait, can you even see their faces? Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? This is the greatest one it's, on this it's, No, no, it's it's scary. Like, it's bad, what? dude. Look, I think it's it's worse on the kid. <laughs> what? I don't understand. How do you, that's skillful. Like, how do you make those faces? Did she just copy and get it? Wait, did they Photoshop these faces? What the what fuck? It, what happened? It, it, looks like, it looks like white people doing, like, white face. <laughs> I kind of like how the dogs didn't have to get a touch up. <laughs> like yeah, you gotta do that. Show them like, that. I don't even know how you yeah, did that. It's pretty impressive. Look at that! Look at that! His eyebrows are like straight like this. I feel like he just drew it in. Damn. The grandma's tall. Those cut. Oh my god. How do you do that? Holy fuck. <laughs> I wish the dogs were touched up I too. I know, it would have been yeah. consistent. How did they do that? This is amazing. When I saw this, I was like in tears. Can you make the face like big as fuck? They look like video games. What? <laughs> oh my god. This person should specialize in this shit. Oh my god. He's actually really good in a really bad way. Yeah. What the fuck? Cause that shit takes skill. Cause I can't do that shit either. You know, I actually tried finding like previous work of this photographer. I couldn't find anything because their Facebook page went down. God but damn. What's wrong thought, with their eye? Like they, they thought this was okay to release. Like they thought this was okay to give as a finished yeah. product. Yeah. Well, it's because, <laughs> so this is what happens. They're shooting this at high daytime, right? Sun is at the highest peak. Is it blown out? <laughs> no, there's really harsh shadows on the face. Oh. So it's just all over. Like the crazy place. contrast. A lot of contrast, a lot of dark circles under their eyes because if the sun is as high as possible, it creates like a lot of dark shadows on your face. So he's trying to like add a lot of clarity so he can wipe all that shit out. Oh. And he's brightening up the face, and this is how you get this, this no, melted not. monster where he drew it on. She. Oh. She, yeah. she had to draw it then. Wait, what wait, the wait, fuck? Wait, Look wait, at the wait. teeth. The shark teeth is hilarious. What the fuck? <laughs> at least the grandma doesn't have any wrinkles. Damn. Yeah, so then when I was trying to find previous work, I came across this video. <laughs> <laughs> this video is someone trying to do a tutorial of how to get this aesthetic. <laughs> like, I feel like this will actually spend a lot of time on the photos though. Because he was yeah. fucked. Okay. She. She, she, I'm sorry. I watched that tutorial and what they did is they blurred out the entire face. Yeah. And then they manually drew over the eyes and the teeth. Oh That's what it looks God. like. Damn. Why do they look like demon geisha and shit? <laughs> Fuck, I, I want to hire this person. She's she's awesome. You don't have to. You could just uh, give her one of your old photos and then oh. just have her touch it up. <laughs> she could start a business doing this shit. It's, it's fucking scary. Awesome. I know, and I saw this, I'm like, I gotta talk about this with you guys because this shit is Melted. cold. When I saw it, it, it kind of, it, it felt kind of weird. Like, it felt creepy. Yeah, it felt like it was going to be a horror like movie or something. I can see this blown up and put out an art show though. And then people would actually probably like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so different. Dude, I the, really feel like. People what the fuck is wrong with art? Like, yeah. have you guys ever been to like Melrose or just anywhere that has contemporary art? Broad. I've never been there. It sucks. Uh, let's just say that they have art there. I literally did a whole video where I just made fun of the whole place. 
which I found I felt a little bad after. Yeah. But at the same time, there was a picture of five charcoal dicks that were drawn on a piece of paper, and it was worth millions of dollars. What? And I did that in high school, and I was sent out to the principal's office. I feel like that kind of art. I think it's a big fucking joke. It has to be a joke. Like, it's. I think it's one of those things where you know, like the uh, that that story of the king with the invisible clothes. Yeah. So I think it's a racket to fuck with rich people because rich people don't know what's in because they they lost touch with the regular world, right? So all these artists, they come out here and they make some weird fucking shit and then people want to be cool, rich people want to buy this shit and then within their circle of friends, it's like, oh, you got that piece? I want that piece too. I think it's a big fucking has to be, scam. Dude. Yeah. It's literally, you take one of those little charcoal blocks and you do this, you draw a dick, like this. That's literally Here's what it was? That's literally what, it's not even, I'm not exaggerating, I'm actually probably doing a better job making fun of it right now than it actually is drawn, and it's worth like millions. Yeah. Wow. That's why I'm like, oh, I get so frustrated over that, because like, it's, a, it's nothing. Yeah, and it doesn't take years nothing, to do. No. Even some of the abstract artists, like when, um, like back in, the, I guess like uh, in the 90s or whatever. Picasso. There's still some sort of like, Structure behind it like a level feeling. of skill. There's yeah. Yeah, there's levels of skill But these guys aren't even like worthy of being called abstract art. It's kind of like a hallway This is my piece. See that basketball in the hallway on the but, door. That's just tight So then the way that they'll describe it is oh like the amount of emotion and anger that you threw that napkin down That's art like it captured that well Can I just like fucking know, bust right? your teeth in and leave your teeth on the floor and call it art? Yeah, Probably it's not a crime scene. Let's do that. It's art. Oh my god. Yeah, but the, the the weird thing is like that's everyday expression that's mm -hmm. not even like exaggerated or told in a interesting yeah. way. When you walk in, I just feel like I want to vomit. Like that's contemporary art. Like every single piece makes me feel like I'm going to get a headache and I'm going to fucking puke all over the yeah. floor and that to me isn't it it has to have range. It has to have like different types of uh it has to get you you in the feelers from like calmness to love to whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, as soon as I walk in, it's like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> that's all I feel like. I think that's what makes me like whenever I look just like at a white canvas that somebody just put white paint on it. I'm just like, why? Yeah. Why is it's this troll art? art. Uh, it just makes it so frustrating. But then the part of like the reason that abstract art works is because like they just want people to talk about it. Whether you're how annoying it is. Yeah. How, so whatever. <laughs> Any emotion. Let's talk about how good, annoying. Angry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's working in that sense. I hate contemporary art, dude. Mm -hmm. It's like the laziest fucking art ever. <sighs> I, I I know that this this kid was trying some shit and selling his like canvas fans for like two thousand bucks, dude. And it looked like fucking animal crackers. Oh god. Like drawn really shitty. And then I'm just like, man, this is some bullshit, dude. This is I'm this is different. I'm becoming an artist starting tomorrow. I'm spitting on a piece of paper and I'm putting it on my wall. Don't forget the sign at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I call it the French slap. Ooh, between. Between. All right, for our last story, have you guys heard of the Tide Pod challenge? Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't know that was what? real. Is it real? I thought it was a joke. Wait, what challenge? The Tide. Tide. Pod. You know the washing pods? Oh, oh my yeah. God. They just put so, it in their mouth and they eat them. So now there's these. What? Yeah, half of them are obviously joking. Yeah. That they're not seriously ingesting detergent. But then there's a really huge chunk of the other half that <laughs> they're actually taking this for real and Good. they're putting. These, these detergent, detergent in their mouth? So Good. I always Good. wondered what the warning, like who the warning label is for. It's for them. For I'm the like, natural selection, I'm motherfuckers. Like, you can't be that stupid to have to like, hey, you shouldn't consume this shampoo. I'm like, really? That's why I but think I think they should take all the warnings off of things and just let natural selection happen. Yeah, so this is uh, this is obviously one of the people joking, like they're not clearly gonna yeah. eat it. It does look delicious though. Tide Pods? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I when I, no, when I read that, people more. were thinking that they look delicious and that they look like candy. I thought, like, do you have eyes in your your head? Like, come on, like it does not look good at all. Like you could see the powder, you could see it's like. Soap. That's because you know it's soap. 
It looks okay. disgusting to me. I Imagine know. if it was uh, like an ice cream. Oh, oh like yeah, like a Jello or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or like if you could put that in the freezer. I guess if you're only looking at the gel part, I could see that. But like right behind it is like all the powder and like the. Oh, I don't look closely. Well, with the powder, you can think of it as like the fun dip powder. Yeah. No, girl, just don't think of it at all as candy. Just don't eat this, but guys. Don't, don't eat this. There have already been squishy. six reported like, deaths because of this. <gasps> well, People are dying. Well, that's I know, but see, this is what I'm saying. I'm happy. Be their dead. <laughs> no, and then most of them are kids aged 13 to 19. Exactly. They know that's better. way too old. Okay. I'm not saying I'm happy. I'm not sad if it's a three year old. We're making videos oh of them God. actually. It's yeah, yeah, it's sad if it's a three year old, but 13 to 19, then you deserve to kind of die. That? So, what's the real challenge? Like to eat it? To put it in your mouth and bite it. I will rephrase this. I feel sorry for the parents who have lost their kids, but your kids are fucking dumb as shit. Yeah. This, like did it. this girl survive? Uh, I don't know who this is. It's just like oh random. I think just, just biting it and just letting it College from. Humor last year, they created oh, a whole shit. video. Okay. Yeah, so, but like, they were actually like going in on it. So then, oh. now it's gone to the point where Thai themselves have gone out oh and my made God. advertisements saying like, hey, or not advertising. They don't even yes, need they, to do that. That's the thing, that's crazy. But hey guys, don't eat the Tide Pods. Look, even one of them is doing like, what is this called? Like dabbing or something? Like when you smoke it or I don't know. He's smoking the freaking oh, pod. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, and so people are, like. They shouldn't have made it so delicious looking. Poisonous. Laundry detergent has a lot of poison in it. Do not ingest it. Don't even get on. They're even saying like even it can no, irritate your skin. I, this is not. This is just a. Six a core, people. It's a core issue of people who don't understand. They, they just want social currency, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they just want to be known for absolutely anything. And this is, this is I, I, I thought about this too recently, like as the worse and worse this gets, there's gonna be so much censorship because of shit like this. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, YouTube's already announced that they're taking down anything that has to do with Tide Pod Challenge. And then now Tide is like working with different social media platforms to make sure that they remove content to not distribute like. That sucks because they don't even need to do that. Like a mousetrap company voice. doesn't need to come out and say, don't put this on your dick. Yeah. Like there's no, no one needs to do anything like that. If you're fucking dumb enough to like put raid in your cereal, then just die. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't make any yeah, sense. Like, hey guys, you want to do the Mercury Shake Challenge? <laughs> Let's fucking break our, <laughs> our thermometers and put the mercury inside the fucking shake, yeah! Yeah, it's just a really odd world that we live in now. Like, anybody wants to be famous for just about anything. But even like some of these, you know, when the Six Second Vine thing happened, they were still making content that was, you know, relatively funny for that moment. You know what I mean? There's still talent in that. This is talentless as fuck. You know what I mean? Let's do the fucking radiator fluid challenge, guys! Come on! It's just crazy, dude. That's so sad.